Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be showing you guys a tutorial on a... not a plugin this time. It's very special, it's not really a plugin, but it's technically it's still a plugin. It's called a plugin called Essentials. This is a very important plugin for your server, but it's technically not about this plugin. It's about how to make join messages in this server, in, a, in your server. Something like this. Let me leave the server. And join back. Ignore the sounds outside, please. My dog is barking like, like, like the world's gonna end. Um, basically, if you join, there's this message, and when you leave, there's a red minus, and then the name. Basically, like that. Um, basically, how to do that? You need to download the Essentials plugin, and I'll show you guys what it's like in the in the config files. All right. So basically, I'm in my Minehunt config, but if you guys are using any type of file system, it's all fine. Basically, click on plugins. By essentials should be an E so right here essentials click on it and then click on the config it should be same for every file type basically search up click control F this thing will pop up in Google this will pop up in that thing it's the same you need to search basically join and it should pop up but for me it's instead of that it's actually this so basically you search it up and it should teleport you to right here basically it will show you like this you can set a custom join and quit message here set this to none to use the default minecraft message or set this to that to hide the message entirely you can use color codes username for the player's name and player for the player's display name you guys got it and basically custom join message custom quit message join message is basically obviously the join message quit message is when you leave so this is for example and seven is basically gray so gray this and basically you can type anything you want for example uh, username has joined the most awesome server in the game you guys can do that save go to your server and reload i hope you guys this i hope i hope this video was very helpful for you guys i know this was another short one i'm thinking of what plugin i should do next for a tutorial comment what plugin you guys want to see next from me in the comment section down below that'd be greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys next time goodbye